Is it working? Yeah. yeah, it's working. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jesse here. Sorry for being so absent on here. I've been dealing with visa stuff and as well as networking, meeting people, and getting everything sorted out here in Japan. I honestly just have not had the time to sit down and record a video uh, as well as edit it. That said, in about 12 hours, I'm going to be making my way over to Hawaii and I will have a lot more time to record and edit there. But before I head off, I thought, hey, you know what, I don't have anything else to do, really, except for finish packing, cleaning this place, doing the laundry. Yeah, I got some stuff to do, but hey, let's record this video. So like the title says, the book that started it all for me back about three and a half years ago is The Mucusless Diet Healing System, originally written by Dr. Arnold Errett and published back in 1922. I got introduced to this book, like I said, three and a half years ago by my friend Boyi Nataraja. We are both on our way to a personal development seminar called The Enlightened Warrior. I met up with her in Sacramento and then we had a seven hour drive to where the seminar was being held. Now we had talked on the phone prior to that about veganism and she knew that I was into health and nutrition at the time. So with a seven hour road trip, she uh, suggested that we listen to this audio CD that she got introduced to. And that was a mucusless diet healing system. Now I'd never heard of the mucusless diet or the system before, so I just took everything with a grain of salt. But as I started listening to the CD, everything kind of made sense on an instinctive level. One of the most memorable things was being asked to imagine clean blood, like creating clean blood in the body. On one side, cherry juice, freshly squeezed. On the other side, animal blood. Which would I choose? And instinctively, I chose the cherry juice before my mind had time to comprehend. So that was my first, hmm, interesting moment. Now around this time, I heard this quote that really had an impact on me. I can't remember who said it, but it was something along the lines of, don't trust what I say, test. So upon finishing the workshop and having a great time there, got back to Hawaii, and that's when I bought the book and decided to give it a read. Here are some of the things that I learned. Every dis-ease, no matter what the name in medical science is, it is classified as a constipation of the system. And the constipation is the clogging up of the pipes, and we have a lot of pipes in the body. What is clogging this up? Mucus. I also learned that the average mixed eater, the average person out there, has 10 to 20 pounds of uneliminated fecal matter in the body. This fecal matter has been building up since childhood, eating processed foods, unnatural foods, and this is continually poisoning the body. So what are these mucus forming foods, you ask? Dead animal products, dairy, grains, starches, and fats. Now this went against everything that I had heard up to this point. I mean, conventional wisdom would say, hey, you need protein. And that's a question that I still get asked while doing this is, where do you get your protein? Where do you get your protein from? Where do you get your protein from? You need more protein. Well, the, what the book asked me to do is to imagine a gorilla and then ask me, hey, does a gorilla need protein? Hmm. Food for thought. Anywho, the formula that Arnold Errett introduced back in 1922 is V equals P minus O. Vitality equals power minus obstruction. So that got me thinking, oh, if I want to feel more vitality in my body, that means that I need to focus a lot more on removing stuff instead of just constantly adding. That was another aha moment. Now, despite all these aha moments, I was still eating a lot of different types of foods at this point. I loved sushi and I was still eating grains. I was having rice sometimes. I was having quinoa and you know, I'd have cheese sometimes as well. So I used to eat just about anything back in the day. But like that quote that I heard, don't trust but test, I decided to test it out. So I gave myself three months. And here's what I focused on for the three months. One, avoid drinking liquids with food. 
Now I'd heard of this before, but I didn't quite understand fully why until I started reading the book. It's because the body likes things simple. When it comes to digestion, it's the exact same thing. By adding a liquid on top of what is already digesting, it actually messes with the timing. I learned that there is a 30 minute rule. 30 minutes on each side, 30 minutes prior to having food is when you stop drinking and you have liquid again 30 minutes after you finish eating. Second thing, two meals a day. I was already doing intermittent fasting at this point, so this came a little bit easier. First meal is a fruit meal and second meal is a veggie meal. Fruit first because the fruit sugars actually act as fuel for the body. Also, the fruit juices helps to loosen up a lot of that caked on matter that is inside the body. The second meal being a veggie meal is because the fibers in the raw vegetables actually helps to sweep out anything that has been loosened up in the body from the fruit juices. Now because I was in a transition period, there's going to be cravings. I'm going to want some of that, <clears throat> oh yeah, heavy, I am full sensation. So if I ever did want something that was a little bit heavier that gave me that feeling, baked sweet potato. It's important that it's a sweet potato though because sweet potatoes are far less starchy than a regular potato. Oh yeah, so that was point number three. Four, enemas. Now if you don't know what an enema is, there's lots of different kinds of enemas. In the book, it specifically talks about a lemon enema. So basically it's organic lemons, distilled water in one of those hot water bottle silicone things with a little tube and yeah you stick it up your bum and you just uh, let the lemon water kind of clean out your colon. I did that for about two years and my conscience is still getting at me for the fact that for the two year period the distilled water I was getting from Target came in plastic containers. I'm not even going to go into my dislike and hate of plastic right now. I'm going to save that for another video. Okay, so point number five is fasting. That's right, periodic fasting. The reason why for the periodic fasting is because the human body cannot be digesting and eliminating at the same time. It needs to do one or the other. That's all it can do. So if I am fasting by having liquids, and I'm using far less energy to digest that than food, giving my body more time to eliminate. Remember, V equals P minus O. So by eliminating more, less obstruction, more energy. I don't know why, but I just got this image of like Superman and kryptonite. So, you know, remove more of the kryptonite and Superman gets more powerful. So that's what I did for the three month period was focus on all of that. Now it was stated in the book that uh, I don't want to transition too quickly, but what can I say? I can get a little impatient and I actually did transition too quickly. Uh, I got lightheaded some of the times. My bad, <laughs> my bad. Uh, sometimes I don't follow instructions well. <clears throat> So fast track three months, what happened? I decided to continue going on with this. I gave up sushi at that point and have been transitioning ever since. It was like the matrix. I saw with my own eyes this new information and I experienced what eating this way felt like. I had so much more energy. I think after the three month period, I was having so much energy at night that I had so much trouble falling asleep to the point where I heavily got into meditation and calming my body down or else I was up all night. Body felt great, mind felt great, had way more energy than I had had in a long time. So what's my verdict on the book? Well, some of the things that were explained in the book are a little, Mm, vague for me. Um, I definitely didn't find that everything was explained in a way that I could understand. That said, it could be different for you. Do I recommend the book though? 100% yes, I recommend the book. I think it's great if you are wanting to get more information on just the human body and what the human body really really needs in order to be able to sustain itself. I've been eating a raw vegan, raw plant-based lifestyle now for three and a half years, and I am 
why? Question for you now. What do you think of this information? Are you currently living a plant-based lifestyle or do you eat anything just like I used to? I know this kind of flies in the face of conventional wisdom, so it might go against your belief systems. I recommend, you know, just reading the book, trying it out, and uh, seeing if it, it's something that actually can work for you though. Like I said in the beginning of the video, don't trust what I say, test it out, see if it works. Anyways, leave your thoughts in the comments down below so that I can connect with you. Make sure to subscribe down below as well if you haven't already so that I can connect with you in the future as well. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. Next time I connect with you, it'll be in Hawaii. So until then, have an awesome time. This is Jesse, peace out. And that was the mucus. <laughs>